When did you move in with your lovely partner? After one month. Who was in danger of being homeless? <laughs> How much of this economy is based on money laundering? Anti-money laundering. Of course you do, of course, yes, yes. Anti-money laundering. Before coming to Malta, my mom sent me a message and my mom said, Dragos, I have a very serious issue I have to discuss with you. Are there still tickets for the show? Because our priest wants to join. <laughs> so I just want to clarify one thing. Make some noise if you're my mother's priest. <laughs> he made it. And I just want to make something very, very clear, okay? That was not my idea, okay? I, that was not my I did not tell them to decapitate an angel and put it behind me because you are coming, okay? Uh, make some noise if you're an international couple tonight. Okay, the young lady, where are you from? Let's go. From Serbia. From Serbia and the international gentleman? From Hungary. From, oh, very different countries, yes. <laughs> very different cultures, yes. When he, was, when he was five years old, his family sent him to buy cigarettes from the store, yes. <laughs> For her, they sent her to buy vodka. <laughs> rakia, Rakia, of course, yes. And uh, in this situation, you speak Serbian, you speak Hungarian. Is there any cross pollinization Do you try to learn the language of your loved one? Are you, I mean, Hungarian is the worst language in the world. And I'm not just saying that because I'm Romanian, okay? I'm just saying, <laughs> Hungarian is notoriously difficult to learn, yes? Yes. Are you making any efforts to learn? I do. You are learning Hungarian? Yes. That's how much you love it, okay, you are... And yourself, sir, are you learning Serbian? I do, yes, yes. Wow, that's true love, okay. Very nice so far. And how long have you guys been together for, the Serbian-Hungarian connection here? Uh, about a year and a half. A year and a half, also met in Malta? Yes. What was the connection, Tinder? Yes. Finally, okay, you're like, she's, she's like, I was missing home. <laughs> And this Hungary is not Serbia, but it'll do, yes? <laughs> Has the Hungarian culture surprised the young lady? You know, the stereotype about Hungarians is that they are very depressed people, yes? <laughs> we left. So let them kill themselves. <laughs> you shouldn't do that, okay? Remember that, okay, you shouldn't do that. Very nice, and what do you do, sir? What's your Hungarian name? Voj. Voj, very nice, and? Milica, strong, very nice, okay? <laughs> strong. And you, what is the boy, boy, what you were doing here? You came here, moved from Hungary, your family pushed you away, they... Yeah, I, I was looking for an adventure, and... Uh... <laughs> you were sorry, come again? So, I was looking for an adventure. You're looking for an adventure? You should have gone directly to Serbia, bro, okay? This is... <laughs> if you would have wanted some adventure, you should have popped over to Serbia. Because for the past four years, I've been going to Serbia, and the airport has been in construction. You land there, it looks like adventure is coming for you, okay? Yes, but now it's looking better, yes? Now it's looking much better. I was in Serbia recently, I was telling the airport is almost completed, okay? I was talking to the taxi driver, I was like, you know, Serbia is looking better. Belgrade is looking better, and he was like, I don't think so. I live here, trust me, I know. It's just get, okay, got it, okay, got it, okay. Very nice. And yourself, young lady, you are here as well for work or also adventure? Uh, well, work mostly. I, I have my school for kids. You have a school for kids? Yes. Oh, very nice. How, who, where do you, where do you, where do you get the kids? <laughs> <laughs> All around the world. Small, Maltese children, international children? All of them. And what do you teach them? Do you teach them Serbian style? Yemti, <laughs> <laughs> You guys have been together for one year and a half. Uh, what is the Serbian-Hungarian relationship? Is there a lot of... Uh... Well, we're still fighting over Belgrade. Was it Hungarian or not? But other than that... Hey, Hungarians, they think everything is Hungary. Okay. <laughs> Very nice. So now you've been together one year and a half so far. You moved in together? Yes. Very nice. How long did you wait? <laughs> I'm asking for a friend. <laughs> Six months? How do you feel about six months, guys? There's, there's, there's some judgment, okay? <laughs> Somebody was like too early. You said it's too early? Who, who said too early? With, yes. With his friends, it's fine. How much? With his friends, it's fine. With your friends? <laughs> no, with the rent. Ah, oh, with the rent. Okay, sorry. Yes, yes, yes. The, this guy is also Serbian, yes? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay. 
We must prioritize what matters, okay? And don't worry about happiness, worry about saving money, okay? This is the true Balkan mentality, yes? We have to... What's your name, young lady? Hadika. Hadika? Hadika. Hadika? Hadika. Hadika? <laughs> For a try, okay, we got it. And where are you from, Hadika? Turkey. From Turkey, welcome. It's not Cyprus, but it'll do, okay? This is... <laughs> Very nice. A little geopolitical situation there, okay. And the gentleman, sir, you are also Turkish? No, Maltese. Maltese, yes, you're the Maltese gentleman. And what is happening? You guys are together, you're not together? Um, the Harika is like, yes, are we or not, okay? <laughs> you're dating. You started dating. How, how deep are you into your dating? How deep? Sorry, wrong phrasing. I, uh, <laughs> Very recent. Two dates, three dates? Oh, no, no, more than. Two months? More than ten. More than ten, okay. And you met on Tinder, on the... No, no. No, no. no. <laughs> I don't have Tinder. Don't have, very nice, but you met them just walking around, yes? No, at the party. At the party, yeah. very nice. What is your name, the Romanian friend? Ellie. Ellie from? Romania. Which part of Romania? Bucharest. Bucharest, nice and central, very beautiful nice. place. Nice city, yes, you, the Ukrainian lady has been there, yes? Why? No, <laughs> Very nice. Well, you've come from Bucharest, Ellie. When did you move to Malta? Uh, five years ago. Five years ago. What was the conversation? Your parents didn't want you home anymore, or? I fell in love. You fell in love? Yes. With a Maltese man? Yeah. Where did you even find him? <laughs> I game in casinos, okay? This is where you found him, okay? This is where you find the Maltese man. You've met a wonderful Maltese man? Yeah, in a hotel. In a hotel? Oh. <laughs> you were working there or? I was on vacation and he was working. Oh, and then one thing led to another and you left him a tip. <laughs> tip for tip, that's what it is. <laughs> and then you were together for a period of time? Seven years. Seven years? So you moved here five years ago and now you're not together? Yes. <gasps> Que paso? <laughs> Shakira de Romania, via Malta, okay? That's what happened. What happened? Five years, seven years together, and then things went sideways. We got too comfortable. Too comfortable? Welcome to Malta, okay? This is exactly why. People come for two reasons, to be comfortable or to die, okay? This is why people come to Malta, okay? Very nice. But now you're back in the game. You're on the dating apps, the Maltese dating apps, Tinder, Bumble, the church. <laughs> you can get a nice Christian boy, okay, or girl, you know, at the Romanian church. Very nice. Where, where is the church, priest? How, how do I, how do I, how do I, re, is it Mr. Priest? Your, 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 your priestiness? Your honor? Your holiness? What is your name, sir? George. George, okay, very nice, I like it. Very, very traditional, kept it with the Bible, yes? Okay. <laughs> very nice. Do you go to the Romanian church? Yes, when I'm in Romania or in Austria. I also go when I have problems. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's talk about the, with the priest. Uh, Georgia, yes? Yes. Georgia, tell us, how long have you been a priest in Malta for? In Malta for four years. For four years, and you came from which part of Romania? Transylvania. Transylvania? Oh. Oh. You see, in Romania we have Jesus and Dracula in one, okay? This is, we've combined them, okay? And we sent them here, and they sent you here. Did they, did they recommend Malta? Did they have any other options on the table, or? Actually, I chose Malta. You chose Malta? You're like, I'm moving away from this, okay? In Transylvania, there's too much Hungarians. <laughs> I am tired of learning it. And uh, did, you, did they have a church here established before, or did you help set it up? No, 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 it was. There was a church. So it's a Christian Orthodox church, yes. and is it mostly catered to Romanians, or is it like Serbians invited, Ukrainians? Yes, we have even Serbians, Ukrainians, Russians as well. Oh, controversial. <laughs> Very controversial. Very controversial. Do you like, how do you coordinate them? You guys left the one right? <laughs> but you've been here, and how are the, the, the ceremonies? Do they come on Sunday? When do you do the, you know, the, the, uh, <laughs> Yes, what's your name, the Serbian guy? We got a lot of Serbians here, okay. Any Albanians? 
We placed them strategic, okay? <laughs> Very nice. Tell us, sir, what's your name? Uh, Alexander. Alexander, and you're here with your lovely girlfriend? With my fiance. Your fiance, oh. Wow, what's your name, the fiance? Anna, and how long did you guys wait till you get married? Did you get proposed? <laughs> That's the tricky thing. <laughs> so it goes back in 2009. Yes. <laughs> we got gossip, guys, okay? We got gossip. We got a Serbian love story back in 2009. Back in the day, yeah. Back in the day, what happened in 2009? You met each other? Yes, yeah, we met each other. And then you got together in Serbia, in Belgrade? No, no, no. I'm like a small city on the Croatian border. Oh, you went to Croatia? <laughs> Yes, my favorite place in Croatia is a small city called Pula. <laughs> of course, because in Romania it means something else. Again, sorry, father, I am. Uh... And in Romanian it means. Do you know what it means? How, how many day, How deep are you in this relationship? That's how many sentiments. <laughs> That's what it means. That's what it means. Okay. Let's talk to the Ukrainian lady. Come on. You were very eager before. You're from Ukraine, you left Ukraine, and you're here with the Brazilian and the other gentleman, yes? Brazilian, both Brazilian friends. Ukrainian, you're living life good, okay? This is what's happening, okay? You're now surrounding yourself with Latinos, yes? How did you meet your Brazilians? Um, so, before two years ago, I was a rental agent, and I met him. He was with his girlfriend, Brazilian. Yeah, she rented a flat to me. I was rental agent, you know? Okay, very nice. You found the flat? And where's your girlfriend now, bro? Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> he managed to marry another one in the meantime. This man is not losing time, okay? It's like, when it comes to needing a visa, bam, bam, bam. Yes. <laughs> What's your name, the Brazilian guy? Eddie. Eddie, and where is your wife tonight? In Brazil. In Brazil? <laughs> I like the way you operate, okay? <laughs> You are mine forever. Now go. <laughs> she just came for a holiday. Very nice. Where in Brazil are you from? Rio. Rio, very nice. You gave Rio for Malta? Oh. Yes, yes, yes. You see, you hear the sadness in the voice, okay? It's like... <laughs> what do you love about Malta? You know, Brazil is a very big standard, you know? It's a very I know, high... I know, I know, I know. But it was unsafe. 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 But here in Malta, it's super safe. <laughs> it's the safe. I feel like I'm in Japan. It's super safe. You feel like in Japan. <laughs> it's super safe. But with beach and summer. Very nice. Okay, what do you do here, sir? I'm a sales manager. A sales manager? Are you selling real estate as well? or? Yeah, I sell everything. <laughs> you shouldn't say that when we're so... You shouldn't say that when we're so close to Libya, okay? You shouldn't. <laughs> Selling everything, you're on the operation, you're meeting people, you're learning the Maltese language, bonjo. That's all I got, okay? That is all I got. Did I say it correctly? <laughs> bonjo. <laughs> and so far, you, uh, you think of staying here a bit longer in Malta, or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, l I like it how you, you sound like you're forced, okay? You're like, I, uh, what am I gonna do, okay? Go back to the... You're still working very hard. And you have a Brazilian friend over there. What's your name, sir? Ronaldo. Sounds Serbian. <laughs> Ronaldo? Ah, okay, I heard Vujnik, okay. Ronaldo, your parents are big fans of football, and you're like, he's gonna have an amazing football career in Malta. <laughs> You're going to play for the national team of Malta. The, who else is going to play, okay? This is, very nice. You're going to go there. You show them Unados. Very nice. How long have you been here for, sir? Um, from May to November. I'm giving him a test. At the start, he told me, you know, I'm studying English at the moment. Yeah. So is, From May to November at the moment. You like it here? What's your favorite thing? Uh, I don't know. Good answer, okay. <laughs> I think that's the same for most of the Maltese, okay? Why are you still here? Where would I go? <laughs> well, I would like to invite you to Romania at the moment. It's very safe and very clean, okay? Let's talk to more Romanians. Where are the rest of the rooms? And the young lady. Oh, the young lady. Last year, you weren't here. I am so shy. You, were, you missed last... Don't worry. No, there's, we're all among friends here, okay? No, no, I'm going to panic. What's your name? Let's start off with a simple question. What's your name? Edina or Edino. She panicked, okay? She... <laughs> 
Edina from? Baia Mare. Baia Mare. That in Romanian, that means big bath. Okay? <laughs> we are very creative with our names. And you've come over here to Malta from Baia Mare to a bigger, bigger bath, yes? <laughs> Baia Mare Cusare. It's salt sea, yes? And what do you do here, Edina? Take a guess. Mm. I guess. I guess. I guess. So, where do we stand on gambling in the Bible, sir? Where... I just want to make sure we have a clear picture here. That, what does the Bible say about gambling? Uh, you know, in Malta, you have the good cause is fun coming from the I game, from the taxes. You got tax? Okay, so... The, as long as it pays for taxes, we accept. Okay. <laughs> Say what you will about the church, but they're practical, okay? It's, somebody has to pay the bills, okay? So you see, you have now received the blessings from the Father, okay? As in, you're here with your friend. She was here last time as well. She was the Maltese, or? Yeah, yes, sorry. What is your name, young lady? I heard Chinese, but I'm sure it's wrong, okay? I, uh, I'm sure I heard wrong. Chimney? Charlene. We're diversifying. Uh, Malta's very char Jolene. Charlene. Charlene. Sorry, I uh, I, have, I have the ventilator, the speaker. Don't worry. The Ukrainians, they have passion. Okay, this is at the moment she's full of passion. Charlene, how did you meet the Romanian friend? I gaming as well. Now, how much of this? How much of this economy is based on money laundering? Huh? <laughs> Very nice. You met her, you work together, you're working. She... Anti-money laundering. Of course you do, of course, yes, yes, of course. Of course, of course. Anti-money laundering. How big is the team? Um, the department is about uh, 170 people. 170 people in anti-money laundering? How many do you have in money laundering? <laughs> We need to keep 5% of the company just for the good. Very nice. It's a big company then, yes? Bet365. Which one? Bet365. Everybody knows. Everybody, everybody lost money with them, yes? <laughs> Very nice. And uh, what are the situations? What, is the, what do people bet on the most? Is it like racetracks, like football games? This has got two and this got two back office. Okay, we went two back office on this one. Okay, very nice. No, because like Australians really love the dogs, you know. Like Australians really love the dogs. <laughs> That's a beautiful phrase to say out loud. Yes, this is. Uh... Australians they love bitches. <laughs> okay. Very nice. So you also manage Australians and different kinds of people. Yes. Has anyone lost so much money that they showed up at the office to complain? There was a guy who went to petrol bomb us. Oh! But stole. Don't say that, don't say that. No, she's like, she's like, we can't. How much money did he lose? I have no idea. I had a prince, though. Yeah, the prince. I had a prince. You had a prince that lost money? 10 million. 10 million? <laughs> Guys, no money laundering, okay? It's no money laundering, okay? <laughs> a, a prince lost. They, they lost 10 million on what? Were they betting on Shakira's relationship? Or what was the... <laughs> what were the odds? What were the odds? Because I want to get in on the action for her next relationship, okay? Wow, that's a crazy story. Round of applause for her, learning a little bit more about the, the betting situation. All right, what about the young lady over there? You also had an opinion about moving in too early, yes? What's your name? Roberta. Roberta, and when did you move in with your lovely partner? After one month? <laughs> like, who was in danger of being homeless? <laughs> you were in danger of losing your apartment, okay? And you found your partner. You were fighting with your mother. I wouldn't know anything about that. <laughs> My mom goes to church. <laughs> and she gets all the demons out, okay? <laughs> this is... And, and you, Roberta means Roberta. <laughs> wow. This is a true love. I can only love myself. So this is why I, this was made. And let's ask the second.
second Roberta, what did you think when she proposed moving in so early? I had <laughs> <laughs> You're like, she is me, I am her. We must move in together, okay? And now you... You're getting married? We got married as well, round of applause, yes, look at that. And then you went back and you showed your mother the middle finger. <laughs> I'm sorry, we shouldn't do that, I'm sorry. I, very nice. Now you've been married for how long? Couple of months, okay, very nice. And how is married life? Very different from single life? Yes. Oh, Roberta has some opinions, okay. <laughs> Once I got married, she stopped doing anything around the house, okay. <laughs> Tell us the young Roberta, what, uh, I mean, you're both young Robertas. <laughs> oh, very nice, look at you. You got a sugar mommy, yes? <laughs> you, got the, you got away from your old mommy and you got the sugar mommy. <laughs> you know, I, I don't want to ask any deeper there. <laughs> I don't want to understand why she, in what domain, okay? <laughs> Very nice. A round of applause for the Robertas. Well done. Yeah, there's a lot of love in Malta, people from all over the world. This is the end of the show so far. Round of applause for everybody that came out.